Hey guys, it's Bethany with ABQ Creations here with another tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to make a complementing pair of Celtic Weave Stitch boot cuffs to go with your Celtic Weave Stitch hat. They're perfect for this upcoming fall and with the adorable pattern and simple repeat, you'll get it worked up very quickly. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to press that subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon to make sure you stay up to date on all of my current projects. I do try to bring out new patterns and stitch tutorials weekly. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Here is what you'll need to follow along with this pattern tutorial. A crochet hook. Today I'm using a 6.5 millimeter sized crochet hook. Some worsted weight yarn. Scissors. A needle for weaving in your ends. Let's get started. We're going to get started with our slip knot. And I'm going to chain on seven. If you want to have a longer base to tuck into your boot, then start with a longer chain um, than seven. So go ahead and work it up as long or as short as you want. I didn't want too much bulk in my boot, so that's why I left mine kind of short. But you can make it as long as you'd like. Working in the back bump only, I'm going to skip the first chain and I'm going to do a slip stitch into the second chain. Continue to do a slip stitch in each chain all the way across, so you should have six stitches. Okay, so from here on out, we're going to do 20 rows, I'm sorry, 20 rows on each side, so we're going to do 40 rows total. And you're going to want to keep track as you're doing this, but we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch, into the back loop only. We're going to work across into the back loops only. And slip stitch all the way across. And you always want to make sure you're counting your stitches to make sure you have six or as many as you need to have because sometimes that last stitch can get a little bit lost as you're working there. So continue to work as long as you would like it. Just make sure it can stretch and fit around your calf at the base where it will sit. Once you have your 20 rows, we're going to chain one and we're going to combine each of our ends. So we're going to start by working into the back loop of our current row and we're going to connect it to the back loop of your first row. And we're going to slip stitch them together. Go ahead and slip stitch all the way across working in the back row of each of your ends so that you can connect them. Go ahead and chain one, and I'm going to work over this end as I work. I'm sorry, you're going to actually chain two because that's going to count as your first double crochet. We now need to pick up 39 more double crochets going around. Now if you have um, extra wide caps, you need to get extra wide boots and everything, you might want to add on an extra four stitches. So you might want to do 44 stitches that you have to pick up instead. Otherwise, if it's just kind of where you're, you have slightly larger calves, I would just adjust your hook size. If you need to go up or down, try to adjust your hook size first. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up stitches. So how I do this is I work in between the V. Sometimes it's hard to get up into this upper one. It's not going to be real noticeable if I work down here. And then I'm going to work over my stitch. And then I'm going to work in between each ribbing because you'll notice there are 20 rows pointing at you and 20 facing away. So in between each one, since I have 20 rows facing me, I know I'll have to pick up a stitch in between each row to equal my 40 stitches. So go ahead and pick those up and I will meet back with you once that's done. Once 
once you have 40 double crochets picked up around the top of your cuff, you're going to do a slip stitch into the top of your chain two. From here we're going to chain two and we're going to start our Celtic weave stitch in the round. So we're going to skip our chain two and then we're going to skip these next two stitches. So into this fourth stitch we're going to do a front post treble crochet. And I show how you can work up the this stitch in the round a little bit easier um, on another video and I will link to that. Okay, then we're going to do a front post treble crochet into the next stitch. Okay, now we're going to go back and work into the, the second and third stitch. So we're going to do a front post treble crochet around the second stitch. And then we're going to do a front post treble crochet around this third stitch. We're going to skip our next two stitches. So you can see we worked into these. We're going to skip this stitch and this stitch. And then we're going to work into the third stitch. We're going to do a front post treble crochet. Then we're going to do a front post treble crochet around the next stitch. And then we have to go back and work into the ones we've skipped. So you can see we skipped this one and this one. So we have to go back and work through this one first and do a front post treble crochet. And then we're going to work a front post treble crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to follow this pattern all the way around. So we're going to skip the next two stitches and we're going to work into the third. So continue your Celtic weave stitch all the way around and I will show you what to do on the next round. Coming up to the end of my round I'm going to skip these next two and then I can see my beginning chain here and my last stitch of the round here. So I'm going to work into the last stitch of the round. And then I'm going to work into that chain two that was at the beginning. And then we're going to go back and work our missed stitches. And then I'm going to, instead of um, slip stitching to the top of my chain two, I'm going to slip stitch into this first front post treble crochet. So now we're going to start what is actually the repeat of the pattern. So you're going to chain two at every round and then we're going to yarn over twice. Now instead of skipping the first two stitches, we're going to skip the first four stitches and we are actually going to work, you might have to dig for it a little bit, but we're going to work a front post treble crochet into the fifth stitch. And then we're going to work a front post treble crochet into the sixth stitch. And then go back and we're actually going to have to work behind these stitches but in front of these. So we're going to take our hook and we're going to work into the third and fourth stitch of the round. So we're going to, you kind of pick up that stitch and then it makes it a little easier to work around. Again, I can show you it more in depth if you check out my other tutorial, which I will have linked down below. So we're going to work behind these two and we're going to work into that fourth stitch of the round. Now as for the first and second stitch of the round, we're going to actually save that until the very end. Those will get worked at the end of this round. So you'll see what I mean when we come back, but these two stitches we're going to work at the very end. So again, we're going to skip these two stitches, and then we're just going to work into the next, the third and fourth stitch. So this is where the pattern repeats. You're going to work your front post treble crochet into the third and fourth stitch. 
and then you're going to go back and work your front post treble crochet into the first and second stitch, but you have to work behind these stitches. So again, we're going to go back here, we're going to pick up this stitch, and then yarn over twice, and pick up the next one, going behind these two, but in front of the work, and we're going to pick this up and work around it. Continue that pattern until the end of the round. So you can be, see the beginning chain two from the round and this is where we're going to work into that first and second stitch that I was telling you about. So if you kind of pull this aside you can see there's the first and second stitch. So we're going to work into this first stitch. This is the chain two from the previous round. So we're going to combine that with this one. Don't count that as a stitch. You have your two stitches you're skipping and then you're going to work into these two. So there's our first stitch of our round. And the second stitch. So again for these we're going to have to work behind these and in front of those. So it's still a front post treble crochet. And then, like I said, we're going to combine this stitch with this chain two. That way it doesn't stick out at all. It'll just kind of group it together. And that's the end of your first round of your repeat. So we're going to slip stitch again to the, the first front post treble crochet. We're going to chain two. This is your second row of your repeat. So you're going to repeat that last row and this next row as high as you want it. So we're going to skip again the first four stitches, leaving these first two till the end. So we're going to do a front post treble crochet here. And now we want to cross over the front of this. So we're going to do, we're going to work into this third stitch and we're just going to do a front post treble crochet over your entire work. Work another front post treble crochet around the second stitch. I'm sorry, the fourth stitch of the round. And then we're going to continue this pattern. We're going to skip these two stitches and we're going to work over here and do a front post treble crochet. And then do a front post treble crochet into the next stitch. And then come back and work it into that first stitch. And then work another front post treble crochet into the second stitch that you missed. Go ahead and repeat that all the way around, skipping the next two stitches, working into the third and fourth, and then work it up as high as you want. I ended up finishing mine on the first row of the repeat where you're working behind these to put those in. So that's the row I ended on, and this is how many I worked up. So you can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows total of the stitch. So go ahead and work that up as tall as you want, and you have your boot cuffs. Just make sure you make a second one, and you have a complete set. Once your cuff is as high as you want it, you're going to actually slip stitch into your second treble crochet of your round, not the first one. It'll close it up more and make it so that you can't even tell where that is. And then you're going to cut off your end, weave in your end. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you did in the comments down below, if there's something else you would like to see, if there are some pattern tutorials or crochet stitches that you'd like to see, let me know. And if you haven't already done so, please hit subscribe and press that little bell icon so you can stay up to date on all of my current projects. Thanks guys, have a wonderful day.